Hello, my name is Jake, and today we're going to be asking the question, is it a sin to eat meat? Um, you know, back in the day, apparently, the pagans used to eat a lot of meat, you know, because they would sacrifice the meat to their false gods, and then um, the people that would look at them would start to see eating meat as a pagan thing, you know, and they were kind of wondering, can we eat meat, or are we eating this meat to these false gods when we uh, partake of it? So, Paul actually had to address this in the Bible. Um, so, here we go. Uh, Romans 14, verses 1 through 3, it says, Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, and another who is weak eat of herbs. Let not him that eateth despiseth him that eateth not, and let him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God has received him. Alright, so there's some people out there who have faith in God that they can eat meat, and there's other people who feel more comfortable abstaining from it, and both people are still saved. Um, but, um, he says in verse 14, I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. So um, he's saying that, and, and this is in the context of food, you know, some people say that Jesus is justifying everything here, saying that as long as you don't think porn is unclean, it's, it's cool. No, 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 he's talking about food here. Um, but, you know, to the people out there that teach that, nice try. Um, but no, he's talking about food here. He's saying that to the man, Jesus said there is nothing unclean in and of itself. Now, this is talking about food here. Um, and he's either making a reference to Jesus when he said that, you know, what goes into the stomach doesn't defile a man, but what comes out of his heart. Um, or he also might be making a reference to Jesus where he told Peter, rise, kill, and eat. You know, don't call, um, don't call what I have said, don't call this unclean, what I have called clean. All right, so either way, um, he's definitely saying that I'm persuaded by Jesus Christ that none of this is unclean. Um, and then, you know, verse 17 says, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. All right, so the kingdom of God is not about your diet. All right, this isn't Hollywood. This isn't the Dr. Oz show, you know. Uh, the kingdom of God is not about um, whether you had, um, you know, uh, fried chicken or you had a celery stick for lunch. All right, the kingdom of God is much deeper than that. God cares about your morals. He cares about your actions, your deeds. He cares about the contents of your heart, not your stomach. Now, when it comes to gluttony, some people may say gluttony. Well, gluttony is a matter of the heart, not a matter of the stomach. So, you know, just like lust is an issue of the heart, gluttony, that, that, that uh, overindulgence would be an issue with the heart, not, not the stomach. So now I want to read 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4 for verses uh, 1 through 3. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So these are doctrines of devils. Um, speaking lies and hypocrisy and having their conscience seared with a hot iron. That's a really brutal statement. Forbidding people to marry and commanding them to abstain from meats, which God has created to be received and thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every, this is verse 4, For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. So whatever we eat, if we pray over it, it's sanctified by the word of God and by prayer. And people who try to tell you that you're going to go to hell and make it a salvation issue, um, if you don't follow a certain diet they think you should follow, the Bible, not me, the Bible says they are false teachers. Um so, yeah, there's nothing wrong with eating. Now, again, I'm not encouraging anybody to be a glutton because that's an issue, that's a heart issue, but 
Yeah, nothing wrong with eating meat, you know. In fact, I really like meat myself. Um, I'm actually going to give some free advertisement here to um, so a type of chili. But this right here is so good. This is at Walmart. I don't know if it's in your local area or not, but this is at Walmart. And this kind of chili right here is unbelievably good. It comes in a little container. Um, so I'm going to give some free advertisement there because that's some good stuff. I like to get some tortilla chips with them and eat it. That is really good. But God bless.